Just when you think you finally got a grasp of how diverse the animal kingdom really is, BAM! We hit you again with another list of things that look more akin to Pokemon or Digimon or something like that. Today though, we're gonna be looking at 10 of the most unique creatures you're gonna regret if you don't see. Number 10! The Hotsin. The Hotsin is a chicken-sized bird with a blue face and an orange mohawk-like crest, leading some people to call it the punk rock bird. However, an awesome hairdo is not the only thing that makes this bird unique, as you'll soon find out. For one, you can call it a flying cow. Okay, yeah, stay with me. They are ruminators. Like cows, goats, and sheep, Hotsins digest their food with the help of bacterial fermentation. Those ruminating mammals have specialized sacs in their gut called a rumen, whereas Hotsins have an enlarged esophagus and crop. The Hotsin is the only bird in the world that uses these four gut compartments instead of a stomach to digest food. And much like cows and goats, it favors plant material as its main food. And because of its food of choice, it needs a lot of bacteria in its gut to break down cellulose and the tough leaf material. These bacteria unfortunately give off a bad smell, which eventually comes out of the bird's mouth. This bad breath has given the hoats in another, less flattering nickname of the stink bird. Number 9. The Orchid Mantis. While it doesn't actually live on orchids, the orchid mantis looks remarkably like a flower, with body parts that resemble petals even. It lives in bushes and small trees that grow white and pink flowers. It's arguably the most beautiful insect in the world, and it uses its shape and bright flowery colors to attract food and full potential predators. Though generally white in appearance, the insect can turn itself shades of pink and purple within a few days to resemble the orchids found in its humid habitat in Malaysia. It adapts to different conditions by detecting humidity and light, and then changing colors to blend in. Unsuspecting insects that mistake the mantis for a flower may land nearby or even on top of it, allowing the pretty predator to snatch them up for a very quick meal. Flying insects such as butterflies and moths are the mantis' main source of food, but it will also eat jungle fruits occasionally. Number 8. The Proboscis Monkey Proboscis monkeys are unique because of one glaringly obvious thing. It's massive nose dangling in front of its face. While its schnoz doesn't really do it favors for its looks based on our standards, you might be surprised to know that male proboscis monkeys use their fleshy, pendulous nose to attract mates. Scientists think these outsized organs create an echo chamber that amplifies the monkey's call, impressing females and intimidating rival males. They are endemic to the jungles of Borneo, never straying far from the island's rivers, coastal mangroves, and swamps. They are a highly arboreal species and will venture onto land only occasionally to search for food. They live in organized harem groups consisting of a dominant male, probably the one with the loudest voice, and two to seven females and their offspring. Aside from their comically large noses, they are the primate world's most prolific swimmers. They can be seen frequently leaping from tree limbs and hitting the water with a comical belly flop. They've also evolved webbed feet and hands to help them outpace the crocs that are some of their main predators. Number 7. The Honduran White Bat The Honduran White Bat is also known as the Caribbean White Tent-Making Bat and is a species of bat that is found in Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and western parts of Panama. It gets the tent-making name from the fact that this variety of bat builds tents out of plant leaves that it first cuts carefully with its teeth. These bats roost in the tents during daylight. It is unique to all bats in that it has a distinctive, completely white fur, which occurs in only three of well over 1,300 species of bat. They also have a yellow leaf-shaped nose and ears, and a black membrane on their wings. The bat, though, is currently listed by the IUCN as near-threatened, and it meets this criterion simply because the population of this flying creature is in a significant decline. Habitat loss for the Honduran white bat in the form of conversion to farmland and an expanding human population are the main threats of this white bat species. As it feeds primarily on one species of fig, habitat loss will impact the population numbers greatly, and it's possible we may see this one disappear sadly. Number 6. The Warty Frogfish Looking more like a discarded piece of chewing gum, the Warty Frogfish, due to its coloration, is also sometimes called the Clownfish. Yet, despite its colorful appearance, this fish is no joke. It is a voracious carnivore and a skilled hunter that attacks any small animals that comes within its striking range. For its size, which is around 6 inches long, it has an unusually big mouth, which comes in handy given the fact that this fish is often seen gobbling up fish the same size as it. These fish are so voracious that the females of this species have been known to eat their mates right after mating. I get that a vigorous bout of mating could and would make someone hungry, but come on! Give it to the praying mantises. 
Anyways, jokes aside, aside from being huge eaters, they're also known for their camouflaging abilities. They can actively change their colors at will in order to blend in seamlessly with the environment that they're at. They are also bioluminescent, meaning they can produce their own light, which, to some extent, aids them to blend in much better with the background. Number 5. The Mexican Mole Lizard You might confuse this creature with an extremely long earthworm or even a strange form of those insanely cute axolotls, but it's actually the Mexican Mole Lizard which, ironically, is neither worm nor lizard. It can grow up to 9.4 inches, about as long as a strand of really thick spaghetti but much less appetizing. They live in abundance in southwest Baja, California, but you probably won't see one since it's rarely found above the ground. The Mexican mole lizard has inspired a generation of stories and continues to do so. So much so that whenever you ask locals about where and how to find this creature, you'll always get disapproving looks. One legend says that the Mexican mole lizards have a fondness for crawling up holes where they're not supposed to. Hence the belief that you shouldn't be pulling down your pants to answer nature's call if you're out in the wild without a proper toilet. But of course that's not true at all. Thankfully. Come to think of it, not much is actually known about the habits of this lizard, so that story might just end up being true after all. Find out for yourself if you're curious. As for me, I'm just gonna stick to my toilet. Number 4. The Kakapo. The Kakapo is a really strange bird. It's ground-dwelling and flightless like an ostrich, it's nocturnal like an owl, but technically it's a parrot. Kakapo are nocturnal and solitary, occupying the same home range for many years. They forage on the ground and climb high into trees, and they often leap from said trees and flap their wings, but at best manage a controlled plummet. It is the only parrot in the world that mates by lecking. Males line up to put on a mating display en masse, and the females pick their favorites. Unfortunately though, these lovebirds only breed an average of three times a decade, when the fruit of the rimu tree is abundant, making it one of the most endangered birds. When last counted, there were only about 125 individuals left. Once found in abundance throughout New Zealand, kakapo started declining in range and abundance after the arrival of Maori. Adult kakapos are vulnerable to predation by cats and stoats, and their eggs and chicks can be killed by rats. The females alone incubate eggs and raise chicks. As they must spend long periods away from the nest feeding, eggs and chicks are particularly vulnerable to predation when the nest is unattended. Number 3. The Amazon Giant Fishing Spider I didn't like any word in that sentence. Warning to arachnophobes in the faint of heart, this is the stuff of nightmares, so you might want to proceed with caution. Just saying. First though, let's break down the name of this creature. As the name suggests, it hails from the Amazon, a place that's filled with nightmarish creatures. Next, it has the word giant in its name, and a giant it really is, having a lake span of about 8 inches. Now is when it gets a lot more interesting and terrifying. Apparently, these spiders weren't content with hunting on land. Being generalist predators, they'll basically eat anything that moves. In this case, they've learned to eat fish, hence they're called fishing spiders. These semi-aquatic spiders anchor their hind legs to a stone or a plant, with their front legs resting on the surface of the water. Then the arachnids wait to ambush their prey. The slightest ripple in the water, or anything that touches the spider's outstretched legs, can trigger an attack. Not content with just ambushing their prey from the edge of the water, these horrors have learned how to swim. They have bristly hairs all over their body, which trap air bubbles that they use to breathe underwater while waiting for juicy morsels to swim on by. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This photo, sent in by a subscriber, shows one of the weirdest animals I've ever seen. Kinda like a cross between a cat, a rabbit, and a bird. Its snowy white fur and feathers further add to its eeriness. But what is it? And is it real? Find out next with number two. The Bellus Lepus Griffin Yes, this creature actually has a name, which pretty much surprised me too, actually. I thought it was photoshopped. I was really expecting that this would be another photoshopped image concocted by a really talented graphic artist that had too much time on their hands, but believe it or not, this creature is the real deal. To some extent. Real meaning you can see it, touch it, and amazingly, own it for yourself. You see, the Bellus Lepus Griffin is actually a made-to-order stuffed animal made by Gakman Creatures. From what I could uncover, Gakman Creatures is a company specializing in making weird stuffed creatures and plushies started by a woman named Ekaterina Gakman, and the company is based in Russia. She sells these handcrafted oddities via her website, GakmanCreatures.com, and it looks like a lot of people are after these amazing creations. So in demand, in fact, that the waiting time for you to get your own Bellus Lepus Griffin is about 16 to 18 months. Also be prepared to fork out a hefty 450 bucks for just one of these for Christmas 2021. Jeez. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Bald Uakari South Americans reportedly nicknamed this poor bald monkey the Mono Anglis, or the English Monkey, in honor of the first sunbird Britons to visit their homeland. Whether or not that's myth or reality, the bald Uakari scarlet plate does resemble that of a holiday maker who has fallen asleep in the sun. During the rainy season, this vulnerable species lives high in the treetops of the Amazon River Basin, but retreats closer to the ground in the dry season to forage for nuts and seeds. It's most easily recognized by its red face and bald head, from which it derives its name. Some people compare them to old men and babies because of their baldness. There's really no denying this species is uniquely handsome, though. The striking crimson color is caused by blood flow beneath the skin, specifically a thinner epidermis coupled with a higher concentration of capillaries in the face. The redness of a female's face is correlated with her estrogen levels, and the redness of a male's face is indirectly related to his testosterone levels, according to a recent study. A redder face indicates a healthier monkey, since their faces, like ours, grow pale when they're ill, particularly with malaria, which is rampant in their habitat. Which unique animal intrigued you the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.